Welcome to SAT TV's news. I am Shana Esprit, your presenter. Among the major developments, Ms. Dominica 2013 wins first regional crown. Grenada government passes legislation to punish persons who post offensive comments on the internet. Holland and Merkel protest over U.S. bogging claims. And in sports, table tennis veterans shine at Grand Prix. Details of this will follow. Mister, we just get the remedy for the pain and them. Me just get the remedy for bad mind and jealousy. Who have you seen me dead? Me just get the remedy. Suck TV, Jamie say, Jamie say. You don't know a Javin chain watching Suck TV. Lord, is it straight triple O's? Students of the Casabrus Secondary School bid farewell to their alma mater on Friday, June 28th, signaling the end of their high school education. Principal of the CBSS, Mrs. Octavia Alfred, stated, Although some of the students were doubtful on reaching this point of their journey, they must thank God that they persevered and successfully completed high school. As you determine to achieve your goals, reflect on all the good things that went on here. All the good things. The bad, the beautiful, the sad and the ugly. Reflect on them. Yes, reflect on how we dealt with all of these things together to bring out the best in each other. Mr. Claudia Sanford, a former teacher, delivered the feature address and advised the students to always reflect on the sacrifices they and their families have made and to use the energy of gratitude to thrust themselves forward. You can reflect on your teachers. Some of them were the rock you leaned on, the constant voice to keep going and never give up. They took time to explain concepts to you, discipline you, and instill character in you. This is something to ponder upon, he said. Your past low moments are behind you now. Today is a success story. We will help you to continue building success stories as a society. You go lay down the next block. Be industrious, not dependent. Say no to those who attempt to make you subjects to their own ambition. Our theme says, not only reflection should give you energy, but determination. This is me, Mr. Determination. Determined to go to, uni to university, I still cannot say the word, when I was in primary school. I did not know what the word meant, but something told me it was something big. After several failed attempts at spelling the word, I was totally convinced that university is big and I had to get there one day. I never gave up that dream. Living in the Kalinago territory, those of you graduating from this beautiful village know the struggles. Today, I hold a bachelor degree in economics and management from the University of the West Indies. And I completed my master's degree in a year and a half when it was a two-year program. He also advised the students to keep faith in God as they keep striving to accomplish their goals. Valedictorian of the Cassibro Secondary School, Miss Naira George, during her valedictory address noted the difference between the impossible lies in a person's determination to try. We have many obstacles to encounter, failures, hardships, negative people. Through all this, we've got as our pilot, determination and discipline as our friends, success is indeed guaranteed. According to Joseph Addison, if you wish success in life, make perseverance your bosom friend, experience your wise counselor, caution your elder brother, and hope your guardian genius. End of quote. Let me add though, that experience will only give counsel if we reflect on our experiences. Graduates, let us set our goals high, not settling for mediocrity, but striving to be the best at what we do. Remember, anything worth doing is worth doing well. Do not go where the path may lead, but instead, go where there is no path and leave a trail. The only place where success comes before work is in a dictionary. 
So let us make work our echoes and determination our mantra. We need to always surround ourselves with positive, optimistic people who will encourage us to set attainable goals and accomplish them. Fellow graduates, whatever our dream or vision, we can accomplish it once we are determined and we must leave this school with our heads held high, with goals in mind to make our mark as proud graduates, making positive contributions in our communities and the nation. Let's make good choices, choices that will brighten our future. Let us be trendsetters, leaders, role models, successful young men and women, thus making ourselves, our families, our communities, and our nation proud. Graduates, feeling gratitude and not expressing it is like wrapping a present and not giving it. William Arthur Ward. My success today would not be possible without the Almighty Father, who has been my refuge and strength. He has seen me through every step of my high school journey. Behind every successful individual is a strong family. My parents, Verilia and Joseph George, who stood beside me, encouraged me, constantly kept me in their prayers, and for making available the necessities for the successful completion of my five years at CBSs. I am eternally grateful. The students were advised to follow their school's motto, which reads, Excellent is not an act, but a habit. Radiate that vision. Take a look at some of the graduates receiving their certificates upon high school completion. Burton Nathan, Ms. Daru Sabi, Mr. Bruni Albert, Ms. Maxime Evelina, Mr. Francis Kelton, Ms. Daru Gerda, Mr. Joseph Jamal, Ms. Baron Diana, Awards went to Emmanuel Lucien for Excellence in Technical Drawing and Building Technology, Tehila Barnes, Excellence in Mathematics, Karen Lazar, Excellence in Food and Nutrition, Agricultural Science, Nikisha Bruni, Excellence in Physics, Nain Prevo, Excellence in Information Technology, and Glenson Etienne, Sportsman of the Year. The Student of the Year and the Principal's Honor Roll was Tehila Barnes. In other stories, teachers were awarded for their hard work and contributions at the Goodwill Primary School on Friday, June 28th. According to Parents Teachers Association and the principal of the Goodwill Primary School, this award ceremony would not have been possible without the contribution of Malcolm Stevens and Sons, Dominica Hoxter's Association, and Le Flamboyant Hotel. This is the third year that the school is hosting this activity. Chairman of the event, Mr. John Lambert said, the theme, Teachers Changing the World, One Child at a Time, describes the work of the teachers at the Goodwill Primary School. As we pause and we look at the successes of the school in sports and in other activities, we want to tell God thank you for what he's doing in the Goodwill Primary School. And we look forward to greater things in the years to come. So teachers, continue the hard work. Your best, your very best. And from a minister standpoint, usually we say that when you work hard, God will reward you. But right on earth, we need somebody to tell us thank you. So we are here this afternoon to say simply thank you as a parent teachers association. So Principal of the Goodwill Primary, Mrs. Miriam Lewis. Noted at their last ceremony, there were various categories they looked at in order to nominate the awardees. So we had the most improved school, which I'm sorry, most improved classroom and ambience. We looked at team spirit. We looked at team spirit. 
District Education Officer said several times the teachers complain that they are not recognized. Therefore, she commended the PTA for this initiative. I, I sat there and uh, if you listen to my voice, I can have to have a deep voice. I'm not a singer. I love to act. I like to perform. And I felt very proud to see Miss Mascot, who I know from the north, and I know she can sing and get back and so on in church and you know, I could hear that. Miss Morancy, I'm wondering if your mommy, you are producing a lot of gold, because I know Miss Morancy's mommy is one proud mother, and she'll be very proud of you. And Miss Look, I see you brought in the family. Let us hear you. Teachers make the change. You could make change through singing. Because every child is not going to be academically inclined. Every child is not going to get A's in the common entrance. But through that, the children, the teachers, can pass that, that knowledge, that skill to the children in teaching. Mrs. Joan Joseph, Ms. Gracie Lawrence, and Ms. Geraldine Paul all received awards for punctuality. Following teachers received awards for the highest percentage for the school year 2012 to 2013. <laughs> Miss Hannah Massicott received the Visual Arts Award. In more stories, 37 proud students of the St. Mary's Academy graduated at the Arawak House of Culture on Friday, June 28th. Kevin Scotland, Delmond Willis, Kayan Sorendo, Dallon Rivere, Jason Lawrence, Dwight Pond, Al Parillo, and Jesse Jones Amo all received Academic Excellence Awards. Jim Graham copped the award for Most Academically Improved, whilst Richard Joseph received the award for Most Merits. Joshua Timothy, Shelson Abraham, Lemuel Jeremiah, and Jesse Jones Amor received awards for best conduct. Fire Lander, Regil Teet, and Tariq Stout copped awards for school spirit. SMA's 2013 valedictorian O'Neill Libla, in his speech, reminisced on the fun times, laughter, and good days he shared with his fellow schoolmates. He specifically identified his teacher, Mr. John, who played games with the students every Friday. According to O'Neill, the teachers played many games with the students, which came across as great teaching techniques. Like Mr. Jackson, who always had a tale to tell, or Miss Stevens and Mr. Fadul, who always made us feel able to relate to them in our classes. We cannot forget our brilliant teachers, like Mr. Lance and Miss Elwin, who tirelessly went over the dreaded mole concept first in chemistry, or the wisdom of Mr. Felix in biology. Teachers like Mrs. Buggins, who never hesitated to address us as gentlemen. Minister of Education, Mr. Peter Seja, told the graduates that the work they displayed at an early age has continued to this stage where you are celebrating another milestone in your academic career. I wish to encourage you to continue along the path of hard work and industry as you aspire to take advantage of the many opportunities that are sure to come your way. The talents, skills, education and life experiences which you have gathered at your alma mater 
should help guide your future. Our goal as a ministry, as a government, is to offer support and to ensure that you and those who will follow your footsteps receive adequate preparation and training through high quality education. Principal of SMA, Mr. Cuthbert J. Elwin said, the students were determined to learn, therefore they met the necessary requirements to graduate. Acknowledge the contribution of your parents, guardians, families, teachers, sponsors, and benefactors who supported financially and otherwise. Who contributed towards making your years at St. Mary's a memorable one. Your theme today, aspire towards achieving the golden opportunities of tomorrow will be your final guide as you turn your backs on the portals of your alma mater. We look to you to exercise. We now go to the presentation of certificates. English B, Literature, O'Neill Libla. General O'Neill Libla and Patrick Rowe. In more news, Ms. Dominica Leslasa Amar Schillingford has won her first original title subsequent to her crowning in February 2013. Ms. Amor Schillingford competed against nine other contestants in St. Vincent and the Grenadines on Friday, June 28th and was crowned Miss Carival. Leslasa won awards for Best Talent, Best Evening Wear, Best Interview and Miss Photogenic. Elated Ms. Amor had this to say about her accomplishments. It was a very high level. It was an extremely competitive show. It could have been anybody who's the crown. Every girl brought their A game. I mean, in the end of the day, every girl should have been proud because it really was a fantastic show. And we can talk to anyone who watched the show. They will remark that every single girl had something to bring to that show. In terms of competition, I will be competing in the Miss JC's competition at the end of July. There will be a pre-show and then the real show in the beginning of August. And then right after that, just a few days after actually, I have the Miss Caribbean Culture Pageant in Nevis. The other awards winner were winner of the swimsuit appearance, Miss St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Most Community Spirited Captured by Miss Dominican Republic, Miss Congeniality was awarded to Miss Dominican Republic. First runner-up was Miss St. Kitts, Zinga, Aisha, Joriah, Aimo, whilst a second runner went up to Miss St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Shara George. The other contestants were Trinidad and Tobago, Jenny Tongs, and the Dominican Republic, Rosa Emilia Martinez, Javier, Barbados, Danielle Tenille Leslie, BVI, Shari Bianca, Yelena De Castro, Jamaica, Cabrena Latoya Robinson, Venezuela, Yamed de Los Angeles, Ame Masia, St. Lucia, Janelle Deza. This is Dominican's second regional competition. She placed a first runner up in the Miss Caribbean World Pageant in the British Virgin Islands in May of 2013 and will participate in the Miss JC's pageant in August. In more news, parishioners, family members, and officials all gathered at the Church of St. Peter in Corleho on June 29th to witness the ordination of Reverend Deacon Branca John. In the presence of the congregation, the Most Reverend Bishop Gabriel Mazier bestowed his blessings upon the new deacon. He acknowledged and expressed gratitude to the members of Deacon John's immediate family and made mention of the deacon's 101-year-old grandfather, Pastor John, who was unable to make it to the ceremony. Bishop Mazier says although they are always in his prayers, there are still many young men whom the Lord is beckoning that still choose to be wayward. The deacon, he says, will have the power to affect a certain kind of change in people's lives. 
However, it is to be used to the best of his ability with the help of God. To see the priest model the person of Jesus Christ. Of him, the letter to the Hebrews, chapter 5, verse 8, reminds us. Although he was son, he learned to obey, to suffer. Unquote. Yes, Brother John. Obedience to the will of God in all its dimensions is the primary mark of the priesthood of Jesus Christ. Embrace it and you will be free and happy. Taking one's own way opens him to much discontent and sadness, simply because of the lack of conformity to the commandments of Jesus Christ. The people of God perceive very easily when something is wrong, and they are not edified. Dear brother, brother John, do not shortchange the people of God. The bishop urged the newly ordained deacon to be mindful of that relationship between God and his congregation. Here is a clip of the Reverend Deacon during the communion. Remember, Lord, your servants. And all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them. For the redemption of their souls in hope of health and well being and pay their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. Reverend Deacon Branco John, with the help of his audience, also sang his famous Calypso tune, Keep the Candles Burning. So I woke up this morning. House of Culture was the place to be on the night of Saturday, June 29th for the Q95 annual Under 16 singing competition. A number of young persons who wanted to put their musical talent to the test graced the stage performing religious pieces as well as love songs. Cheyenne Lake of Canefield was not only pleasing to look at, she was a joy to listen to as she sang Taurus Riley's I Will Stay With You. Oh, I will stay Performances in the first segment of the show came from Sana Shillingford of Lubia, who sang The Greatest Love, Lakisha Peters of Portsmouth, who sang Spotlight, and Kawani Parilla of Bourne, who also sang Someone Like You. Firelander of Kingsville had the Holy Spirit infused in him as he passionately recited a song entitled Hallelujah. She tied you to her kitchen chair. 
She broke up the neck, she cut your hair, and the pearl in your lips, she drew the hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Other performances came from Ornelia George of St. Joseph who sang Days of Elijah, Kitwana Telemach of Wesley singing This I Promise You, Alicia Mills of Layu who sang He Wants It All, and Ifa Georges of Pebush who sang Goodbyes the Saddest. You of the night, Charism Birmingham of Sufria emerged overall winner of the competition. Take a look at his performance following his victory. Ifa Georges, third place Milaya Ferrara, and the second place Cheyenne Leek. And in entertainment, a local group called COB has been making strides in the music industry and is now in the process of launching their new music video on 4th of July. The group members who hail from the Portsmouth community are urging the Dominican community to support their new video. It came about by the song and the director of the video. The director of the video is Charambo and COB. We put our ideas together and... Bertice Jeffers gives more details about the new song. Beautiful thing, one of a kind, one of a million, a ways on my mind. I wonder how to live without you, I wonder how it feels without you. You beautiful, whatever kind. Oh, you're so beautiful, beautiful baby. The song entitled Couple of Shots is a summer anthem that portrays how one should have fun with friends without the abuse of alcohol. Upon its release, the public will be able to access the video on YouTube. It will also be played regularly on Tempo. Mr. Jeffers said the support from the public from previous videos has been good so far and the group is being recognized for doing positive things. COB is currently nominated for the Best Caribbean Pop and R&B Music for their last single released entitled Beautiful with 2010 QTS winner Asha Thomas. Their intention as a group is to promote Dominica on their rise to fame but in order to attain this fame support is needed. Take a listen to the lead singer of the COB band, Leah Benjamin. Yeah, I want everybody to go to YouTube and search COB. It's C H O E B. I look out for a new video July 4th, which is popular shots. And like it, share it with your friends, and tell people at COB. Enjoy this song, take a couple of shots. It's summer. Enjoy the song. The group's artist and songwriter is urging everyone to support, support, support. 
and in court news, 38-year-old Mervyn Charles from Canefield was handed the short end of the stick after Magistrate Evelina Baptist handed down a monetary fine instead of incarceration. The matters of the case stated that on Saturday, June 29, 2013, Constable George was driving a pickup heading to Independent Street when he noticed the defendant Mervyn Charles heading in a westerly direction. The defendant continued riding his scooter, registration number PS439, and parked the scooter in the middle of the street, impeding the flow of traffic. Constable Blairs alerted the rider to park the scooter in the proper way. However, the defendant chose to insult the officer by stating, and I quote, have mo I have more money than you. If you all charge, I will just pay the fine. The defendant was then taken to the police headquarters, where he was slapped with seven offenses. The charges were using insulting language to an officer, driving on a public road without a license, driving an uninsured motor vehicle, driving without the license prescribed for the vehicle, failure to obey road signs, failure to stop, obstruction by willfully preventing free passage, and a reckless driving in a public place. In mitigation, the defendant's lawyer, Mr. David Bruni, asked Magistrate Evelina Baptist to be lenient on his client because of the fact that he pleaded to all charges and did not waste the court's time. He also asked her to take into consideration that his client's last offense was 2009 and has been on the right side of the law for four years. Mr. Charles had already apologized to the officer involved and is remorseful for his actions, stated Bruni to the magistrate. Magistrate Baptist expressed her disgust and disappointment at the 38-year-old, stating that he was a bad example for the youth. She said no man should react that way to a police officer. On the offense of using insulting language to an officer, Mervyn Charles was charged $900 to be paid by December 31, 2013, or in default, spend six months in prison. For the other vehicular charges, he was charged $1,075 to be paid by February 28, 2014, or in default, spend three months in prison. In closing, she stated that Mervyn Charles should consider himself lucky. This has been the local segment of the news. Coming up next, regional highlights.